Good morning everybody and welcome once again to my humble abode. Today I'd like to carry on with bees, bees part three. And what we're going to do today is we well, there were two very important bees. The first bee was the imperial bee, which I managed to produce at the end of the last episode. And since then I've managed to produce the uh, industrious bee. So let's go and have a quick look at what we've got. Uh, and you see we've got a lot of flowers from the bees and here I've been setting up a little sorting system with apris chests all I've done basically is I've got apris pipes here and because buildcraft pipes don't always take every item I've set it up so it works like this so in this chest here in the red bit we're getting princesses and anything goes into the yellow so if we look at that so the red will come into princesses and the yellow will go out and on this one here i've got on the yellow i've got purebred bees and on the white we've got well, it's gray really isn't it we've got any bee so what's happening is that only purebred bees end up in this chest a storage module chest and I have a lot and in here I have quite a few princesses too and the two that are important are these two and to make the industrious princess what we have to do let's go over to the warm bees so we have to mix a, a diligent bee and a noble bee I think let's just double check that so industrious bee here we go. And he is made up from resultant mutations here. So we take a diligent bee, oh, and an unwary bee. And we mix those together. So we need a diligent princess and an unwary drone. And we should end up with, a, end up with an industrious princess, hopefully. So I have somewhere in these chests all sorts of bees. I've forgotten where they are now. So here we've got Majestic. Majestic's used for the Imperial. Here I've actually got uh, a lot of Imperial drones and I've got some Ebony drones as well. That was a sort of an accidental mistake. But what they produce is black tinted comb. I'll take that for a second and I'll look at that later on. And the Imperial Princesses produce this Royal Jelly. And the reason we need Royal Jelly is to make um, the a Avery, Avery, Alvary, and here I've also got saffron drones in here and red drones. The red drones produce red coloured comb and the saffron ones produce, I think, is probably yellow tinted comb. Well, we'll find out what happens with those. In here we've got mysterious drones, which is actually a mundane bee. That. Here we have the unwary. So we have an unwary drone, and there's actually just one type. There's a lot of them. So we take a stack of 64, put that through the bee analyzer, and it tells you it's got a shorter life, slower, and it produces two offspring, and it's a pure unwary. So what we then do is we go and find ourselves a diligent. Princess, have I got one of those around here? Well, I've got diligent bees, but no diligent princess, and I'm sure I've got one back at the base here. Diligent princesses, these are oblivion princesses and the princesses. No, I don't see any here, do I? Right, so maybe we have to make a diligent princess. And the way we do that, so let's have a look how we make a diligent princess. Go to the data bank again. And diligent. I don't know what the order of these is. Maybe it's just a resultant mutation. So we need a common and a cultivated. It should make a diligent. 
Okay. In fact, I don't need to do that because all I need here is a common princess or maybe even a rocky princess is quite adequate. The rocky princess has advantages because it's tolerant to all sorts of things. And here we have some diligent drones. So let's find a give us an ender drone. So short and life faster worker, that sounds like a good one. And here we have a short life slow walker. We'll take that as well. And what we'll go and do with those, we shall go and put those into the Avery's here. Sorry. The Apries here. So what we do is we put the the princess in Rocky Princess in here and the diligent drone in here as well. So that'll make a rocky queen and hopefully over a period of time we shall get some with these soul frames we should get a different type of bee we should get a diligent princess but it might take two or three iterations to find the diligent princess so as you see here i already have an avery so let's go and look at that again so here we go let's go back to the workshop which is down here somewhere it comes out from building. But the redraw speed's a bit slow. Let's wait for it to do its stuff, I think. There we go. So, to make an Avery, oh, I spelled that wrong. L How do I spell it? There we go we need this block and this block is made from one impregnated casing which is in the carpenter with with seed oil and that makes an impregnating casing any eight wood in a chest formation will do that and we've got plenty of those already I've done that last time as well and then we need the scented panelling now the scented panelling is made from the royal jelly and the pollen cluster and the pollen cluster comes from the industrious bee and the royal jelly comes from the imperial d these are any planks and this is beeswax which comes from comb so let's go and have a look at what we do that over here and here i have a, a centrifuge in fact what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this take this beeswax out of here and put in here this yellow saffron and we shall see if we get anything out of that in the meantime while that's working away so we've got some honey drops and some yellow tinted honey and it's yellow tinted honey which I think you can then use as to make dye let's have a look what its uses this are where did I put it there we are usage so you can squeeze it out and it'll produce yellow dye and that's basically it so you've got yellow dye made from that one right now here we have the recipe so here we have the recipe for scented panels and I'm short of some planks but I've actually got enough 57 there plenty of honey in here in fact what I have to do is I put honey into here in fact the squeeze I can also put the, the yellow dye in there as well and what should happen is the honey comes across into here and I've got plenty of beeswax, we'll put this beeswax in here as well. So if some another plank, it'll make another scented panel, but I've already made quite a few scented panels. So let's have a look. Oops. Don't really need to do that, do I? So let's go again back to the alvary. Yeah, in fact, I've already got 23 alvary blocks, so let's make the recipe for this. And we need 27 to make an alvary. So here we have 27. It's a 9 by 9 structure. So actually, we'll leave those there because there are other blocks in the alvary which are interesting. So here we have a fan that makes it cooler. So if you're producing winter bees or so, you can cool them down. Here's the heater, which makes exactly the opposite, warms them up. A hydrogenator makes it damp. A stabilizer, that's for stabilizing genes. 
and a sieve. I don't know what the sieve is yet. I have to find out. What else do we have? We have a lighting. That's a very useful one. The lighting is made from one golden electron tube, an Avery unit, and glowstone. I wonder if I've got enough. I have. Look. So we'll have one lighting unit. You only need one per Avery. And the other one that's very useful to have is a, is a rain protection. So I think the recipe for that is rain shield, extra bees. So we need two golden electron tubes, a navy unit, and three clay bricks. I don't know if I've got everything for that. Okay, I need another golden electric tube, which is fairly straightforward to make. I need, I'm not sure. I should have in here a thermionic fabricator, exactly. And at the moment it's probably turned off. It is. Turn it on. This is just a, a conduit switch on an Ender IO pipe. So, gold and is exactly the same recipe for almost all of the tubes. It's just like that. Glass in one side or sand, pipe planes, and you get these. We'll just take that off. I don't want too many of these, do I? Come back over here. And then we just put the other one in here and then throw the rest into here. So we have a sieve unit. And the next item that's useful is the mutators. And that's this unit. So this is made by two diamanti diamantine electron tubes and one every unit in two gold bars. I think I have certainly some of those. How many got? Only two. Okay, so we have to make some more. And of course, that's exactly the same recipe in the thermionic fabricator. And this time, we shall use diamonds. Oh, I've only got one diamond there. Okay. I'm sure I've got plenty of diamonds around. Let's have a look. Ninety-eight. So we we'll need at least uh, six diamonds for. So we'll take eight. In fact, I should really need six. So it's the same recipe as these again. That'll make four. Oh, I don't need so many, do I? I'll take out eight. Oh, we need. Oh, sorry. We need five. I haven't got enough. to here again, diamond. We'll just take two. Just keep one in stock so we know that it's what it takes. And there we got another four. So now we have eight diamantine tubes. Turn that off. So now it's just like that and we take those. So we've now got five of those. I think there was a maximum, but I'm not sure what it is. And these are actually powered by Ender Pearls or Eye of Ender. In fact, Eye of Ender is better. So let's have a look. Eye of Ender. Have I got any of those? These actually stack quite well. It's not like the I've got 18. That will be sufficient for the time being. Right, let's go and build the Avery. So I'm going to do that near to where the other one is, which is here. Um, where should we put it? I shall avoid that thing. It's death bloom. Gives you wither. So I'll dig it up. In fact, here's probably a good place to put it. Don't die in the process. Okay. So, all you have to do is to build a block of. Did I not bring those units with me? 
Oh, that was clever, wasn't it? Right, quick trip back to the, the workshop. I should go by the farm and take some seeds at the same time, I think. That's a lot. And the workshop. And I didn't take them with me, did I? And now I have no space, so I have to take some stuff out of here. I don't need those with me. Stabilizer. In fact, what I didn't do in here is what was I put in these? So I didn't put in these. And this will produce something probably the same as yellow tinted honey. You get black tinted honey and of course with the black tinted honey I stick it in the um, squeeze and we should get black dye so let's have a look press the U on the usage yeah, exactly so we get black dye from that so now we can create red dye black dye and yellow dye Shall that in there? I have to take this out of here of course because it won't squeeze Oops. and of course that's out of there and I can't take that out of there so no matter I'll leave that in there for the time being right now if we go back to the armory right where are we over here so I'm planting it one layer down which is fine and I also forgot to put those away. Oh, that was clever of me, wasn't it? So basically all you do is you put these blocks down. And a 9x9 nine nine block. Move out of the way. I haven't got enough, but what I've got to do is I want to take the mutators out and put those in here. So let's do that first of all. What do we need an axe? Okay. Let's float around a bit until we get rid of these mutators. What have I got now is I've got the rain shield. In fact, we'll put the rain shield down here. And here we'll put the, the lighting in here. So I think the lighting actually might need power. Night. Ah, oh, there is one thing I've forgotten, isn't there? And that is. Have I not got enough blocks still? I don't have enough blocks. I need two more. I thought I made enough. Never mind. Quickly, let's go back and get some more. weird how that comes up so do I have enough I do take the next one just for the f just because I can that's why I forgot to do that few seconds before it actually catches up to the speed of thing. Ah yes, I remember now. So now that hasn't finished the job. What we have to put on top of that is some slabs. So let's just go and get some slabs. They are actually here. I've got 
any slabs with me, I have to make some. Actually, while I'm here, I can get rid of this stuff and put it in the squeezer, can't I? Slabs, okay. Let's go to the workbench. We actually only need nine. So 12 blocks will be fine, I think. And here we go again. Need those three. And the slabs are here. few seconds and here we have one oh, three. now it's the same for, it's basically it's the same as before but of course you can put in different items so what we needed to do was to put in oh, I didn't get my diligent princess to die I needed to make a diligent princess that's right that was what I was doing now in this case we should find it a lot faster so here we have a rocky a tolerant princess. Ah, yes, I made a mistake. If I mix the diligent with a rocky, I get a tolerant. And not and the tolerant is actually quite useful. That's used in the, one of the next stages of bee production. So I have to go back and get another princess. In fact, I'm probably like a med oh, a place meadows princess probably the best one to use. I don't think that turns into anything. Unusual to be able to wintry princess, forest princess. But I might be wrong actually. Now, what we'll do is this time we'll put it in here because in here we've got these mutators. The first thing we're going to do look at the mutators, we can put in hive ender, ender pearl, or soul sand. and the ones with the highest chance are the, the more costly ones, so in other words, the eye vendor. So I'll put in two in here, two in here, go around. In fact, I actually could put three in, couldn't I? And you need to put these things in before you put the bees in. Otherwise, it stands less chance of mutating. Right. So, we want in forest and diligence. And hopefully, we'll get a, a diligent princess out of this. So, let's just have a look at this tolerance while we're, while we're looking at this. Analyze the tolerance. So, it's a pure bird tolerant. It's that, the problem is with the tolerance, it only gives you one drone, so you can't really use it for all sorts of interesting things, but because it's tolerant, it, you can run, use it in the day, in the night, you can do it in the rave, and it can also do it in caves, so that's its strong properties. So of course now we've got the, the avery lighting, I think that needs power, which we can easily do. I got carried away and produced a solar panel. And we want some piping. I think the piping's in. Hopefully I brought it with me. I've got this one, yes. There's a cabling here. Because it's funny when it doesn't. I don't know why this rip. Okay, and we just put the solar panel on top of it. Let's get rid of that up there. And solar panel. So that's got charge, as you can see. And it's 512 RF. 
so demutators and this should go quite quickly because of the the way this works and what we should end up with is a diligent so rather than have to go through all the different steps of actually producing a diligent which isn't actually that many we can should be able to go directly and then of course once we've got the industrious oops another one of those nice little flowers get rid of those two it's quite a few there actually look you can see death blooms all over the place get rid of those i don't think they've got much use but there we are in fact i've got so much i'm able to get rid of do a bit of quick clearing up here let's get rid of that one don't need the other dog, don't need that one, don't need that. You get a lot of flowers from the biome of plenty. And the bees are producing all these flowers. That looks like that side's done. Yes. Five death limbs. I'm sure there's a good use for them, I just don't know what it can be. And anyway, once we've got our princess, it'll be a while yet, we should then simply use the unwary drones with the Lilithian princess, and that will then produce the, in the industrious princess. And then when you mix those to make queens, you end up with quite a lot of, uh, oh, here we've got, we've got a diligent queen here. We end up with quite a lot of um over time pollen these pollen clusters that you need for the aviaries so i think that's probably enough for today but next time i oh don't know i wanted to cover one more thing automation you can simply run tubes to any of these things so i can put in these six under pearls and here they should be taken actually they're probably going to the wrong place oops No, they're not. They, but they will go into here. But they'll all go into the same one. So I need to sort of make sure that they don't. Okay. Until next time. Bye for now.